What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. So if 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 16, what is each of these three things? 5 to the negative x, 5 to the 3x, and then 5 to the 3x plus 1. So starting off with number 1, we're given this, right? And we have to somehow get to this here. And we have to figure out what that is going to equal. So how can we get from here to here? Well, first thing I would suggest is uh, we split this up here. So we take the 5 to the power of 2x, split it up into 5 to the power of x squared. And that's going to equal 16. So what I'm trying to do here is isolate for this 5 to the power of x. Because if I could get an expression for 5 to the power of x, then getting to these expressions is a lot easier. So notice how an expression squared is equal to 16. So if we want to figure out what that expression is, we can just take the square root of 16. So for example, pretend that you had maybe a squared is equal to 16, right? Something squared is equal to 16. If you want to isolate for the a, you just square root both sides. And that would give you 4. Same thing here. So um, five. this is like the a, basically, right? So 5 to the x squared is equal to 16. Square root both sides. So that means 5 to the power of x. a is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. Right? Does that make sense? So now, how can we get from here to here? Well, we can just take this to the power of negative 1, because negative 1 times x gives us negative x. But what we do to one side, we got to do to the other, right? Because this is an equality here. So 4 to the negative 1, that ends up being 1 over 4, right? If you remember the exponent laws, a to the negative x is equal to 1 over a to the x. So 4 to the negative 1 bring the 4 down, 4 to the power 1 is just 4, so it's 1 over 4. So that is the answer for number 1. This is equal to 1 over 4. Moving on to number 2, we got to figure out an expression for 5 to the 3x. So I would actually leave all of this work here and just maintain this point. So we know 5 to the x is equal to 4. So how can we get to 5 to the power of 3x? Well, we can just take both sides to the power of 3, right? Because 3 times x gives us 3x. So what we do to one side, got to do to the other. So 4 to the power of 3, that gives us 64. So this would equal 64. And then finally, we got 5 to the 3x plus 1. This one's a little bit more tricky. What you want to do with this one is you actually want to split this up into 5 to the 3x times 5 to the 1, right? Because if you're multiplying exponents with the same base, you're just adding the exponents. So we're kind of going backwards, taking this and splitting it up. And then 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. Actually, you know what? Let me keep this written out. So we got 5 to the 3x, and then this ends up being 5, right? 5 to the power 1 is just 5. So 5 to the power 3x, we already know that that's equal to 64. So 64 times 5 is the answer to this, which ends up being 320, right? So the answer to number 3 is 320. Now, if this was like 3x plus 2, this would end up being a 2 here. This would end up being a 25. So the answer would be 64 times 25, right? But this is just a 1. All right, so fairly tricky question, fairly unique question, but you may see it come up. But these are the answers right here. So basically what you want to do is you want to get an expression for just 5 to the x, which we know is equal to 4 in this case. And then you want to figure out how do you, how do you get from 5 to the x equals 4? to each of these expressions. And what you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Now, there's actually another way to uh, do this. 
but it requires skills that we haven't learned yet. We're actually going to learn them in the next section, rational exponents. So technically, you can directly go from here to here. So how, instead of getting 5 to the x, having that middle point, you can just go from here to here. So what do we have to take this to the power of to get negative x? What do we have to multiply 2x by to get negative x? Well, we would multiply it by negative a half, right? Because 2x times negative a half gives us negative x. So we're taking this to the power of negative a half, so that means we have to take this to the power of negative a half. Problem with this method in this section is we don't know how to deal with exponents like this. These are rational exponents, right? Basically, what this is, it's like the square root of 16. So since it's a negative, you first have to bring it down. So 16 to the power of a half, and 16 to the power of a half is 4. So it ends up being 1 over 4, which is what we got initially. But again, we haven't dealt with rational exponents yet, so uh, you can't really use those tools. But uh, yeah, for this section, if you get this kind of question, you want to isolate for 5 to the power of x first, and then get to each of these expressions that you're trying to find.